the Composer Video Academy. In this video tutorial, we are going to look on how you can insert tab element into your WordPress page by using Visual Composer Page Builder. Visual Composer Page Builder comes with a out of the box available tabs, tours, accordions and even pageable containers which work under the same principles we are going to look in this tutorial. As you can see on the screen there is an example of a simple profile page of some fictional writer with three tabs available biography, publications with the list of publications and books and gallery. And now we are going to look on how this can be replicated by using Visual Composer. I will now switch to Visual Composer front end editor and as you can see I have already prepared the top part of the layout which does not contain tab element. And at the bottom part you will see an empty row already added. So you just have to add a tab element. You can search it by using the search or just browse through an element. So once you add tab element it's set with two predefined tabs. First, as we have three tabs, let's add a new tab. This is really simple by just selecting tab options and selecting add new section. Now, as you can see, we can switch between tabs and even change their order. The next thing we're gonna do is select one tab and change the title of the tab. Again, you should have to navigate to the tab sec section and within title, write down your title. So we have biography, publications and gallery. So I'm just going to switch to the next tab again. Select section, edit and change title and I'm going to do the same, the same for the third tab. Now as I have my tabs with the right titles it's time to insert data into those tabs. So let's start with a biography. There is some text. I'm just going to copy and paste it over there. Now I just have to click add element and select text block. I'm just going to replace it with my own text and here you go. The next tab consists of a list of publications and books. So I'm just going to switch to the publications and I probably want to have custom heading, some list and again custom heading and the list. So I'm just going to duplicate this custom heading and edit it. So I just have to change the title and element tag and now I'm just going to insert text block and basically copy paste here you go so let's just duplicate it again change it to books and duplicate content as well. So let's compare it. Okay, that's probably a little job. And third tab 
will contain gallery. The good news is that within specific tab or section it is possible to insert a row so you can divide it into columns. Of course you can use image gallery element but in order to show you how you can use inner rows let's stick to the single image element which will be divided which will be duplicated across those three columns so I'm just going to look for single image set it to be full size at least as much as it's possible. I'm just going to select first image. Okay, great. Now just duplicate it and insert it into three other columns and change images. Okay, now you can see that it's kind of really easy to add content within tabs. But our tabs, of course, look a little bit different from an example. So what we are going to do now is edit the layout of our tabs. Visual Composer tabs, tours, accordions and vegetable containers comes with a lot of different styling options which you can use to customize the layout of your page. And as you can see, you can easily get to those options through editing tab. The first thing that we want to do is remove color fill for the content area. And there is a simple option, simple checkbox to do it. As you can see, with the checkbox, there is no more gray color under our content. The second thing is position or alignment of our tabs. By default, it's set left, but we can set it either right or center. If we compare it to our example, we need it to be centered. And the last thing to replicate this layout, we just have to remove spacing. Here you go. So uh, there are a lot of different other options. You can play around and add something like outer rotation or even change location of uh, tabs from the top to the bottom if you wish so. So thank you for your attention and good luck with your WordPress website.